as I'm sure you all know, let's let's move on, talk about something else. March Madness finally gets underway tomorrow afternoon. That's pretty exciting. Yeah. Nice. Everyone gets excited about March Madness. Of course, I'm talking about the NCAA basketball tournament, where 64 teams battle for the championship. Now, uh, some of the college teams have very famous mascots, mascots you've all seen a million times. This is interesting. A lot of the schools have really cool mascots, original, uh, you know, creative mascots that people have never heard of. So tonight, I thought we'd acquaint you with some of these school mascots in a little segment we're calling NCAA Basketball Mascots. Won't this be good? <laughs> These are great, and it's good that they'll get some attention, because these are little-known mascots. First up, the University of Illinois made a late-season push with the help of this new mascot, the Illinois Race Car Bed Virgin. I had that same bed till four years ago. It's depressing. All right, our next mascot is really three mascots in one. It's the Florida A&M revolving fat joke. Wow. Three and one. Hard to get that. All right, Syracuse University's mascot pays homage to a once great basketball franchise that's fallen on hard times. It's the Syracuse University starting lineup of the New York Knicks. Our next school mascot celebrates America's leaders with a twist, all right? It's the University of Wisconsin Secret Service agent protected by presidents. That's just stupid. Uh, <laughs> Kent State is known. Kent State is known for their tough play and never say die attitude. All of which is embodied in their new mascot, Kent Steel Crotch Stevens. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I thought you had a crotch made of steel. Oh, actually, actually, that's me. Weird. All right. Here's a mascot that's fun while providing a warning about untreated health problems. That's right. It's the SUNY Binghamton Hemophiliac Kool Aid Man. You won't see this stuff on any other show. <laughs> That's my promise to you, the viewer. The hemophiliac Kool-Aid man. With treatment, he could survive. <laughs> Next up, Bob Jones University is famous for its rigid, fundamentalist Christian policies, but it's possible they're loosening up based on their new mascot, Pimped Out Jesus. <laughs> All right, and our final mascot is the Center for Disease Control's Worst Nightmare. Bear with me on this one. It's the University of Georgia, cow with mad cow disease, having sex with a bird with the bird flu. <laughs> All right.
We're good. Please stop cutting to that. <laughs> well, my word. Oh, stop it! Stop it! If only I had some control here at Late Night with Conan O'Brien. All right, everybody, my work here is done. I feel better. Uh,